Alright, I might just be able to survive. That tornado was actually kind of a blessing. And I know that's a horrible thing to say, but it really was. Places are still mostly producing all the food they need to be doing. Yeah, I think, uh... I think most of this stuff is going to be okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, it could probably be a bit better, but... I'm at 18,000 food right now. I dipped all the way down to like 10,000 or something like that. So... I'm going to call that a win. Of course, that's what we need. Outbreak of Diaphora. Alright, I'm gonna establish that right there. It seems kind of ridiculous, but it might do something. You never know. Back down to 15k food. And yes, that graveyard is entirely filled. No surprise there, really. Crap, my lag log count is starting to go down. That is also a surprise. Considering I'm buying logs pretty much everywhere, I'm pretty sure log count is. Well, that might be from rebuilding those large sections that I lost. So I rebuilt most of that seemingly in a single year. I really don't like being down this low in food. Makes me feel very uncomfortable. Oh, fuck me. Getting down next to 10,000 food again. Looking into all the little ways I can produce a bit of extra food. Even if it's just a bit. Wow, I lost a lot of gatherers too. Maybe I expanded it somewhere and didn't realize. Okay, so if I was gonna... Mm, yeah, there's no way I can really throw down a gatherer's hut without it overlapping. <coughs> Unless I did it right there, and that would lose like half the production circle. So, there's no good to doing that. Although, actually, I suppose if I only had one or two workers in it, that'd be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and go to shop. Just have one or two workers. Oh, the reason my log count went down is because I expanded the cap for fuel, or firewood, by such a high amount. That's probably what really was doing it. So, my food count is still above 10,000, but it's making some pretty big flows back and forth. God, I get so try hard. Whenever I see shit like this happening, it's just like, I'm, I really have to get into myself. I have to get into the zone in order not to lose everything that I have going on. It honestly scares me a little bit shitless. I also have to start buying some iron. Otherwise my blacksmiths are going to stop making tools and I really don't need to care about my blacksmiths stop making tools because I'm at 1,500 tools. Holy shit. Oh wow! 1,544 fish from that little fishing spot. That's a pretty damn good fishing spot, if you ask me. Yeah, now that I think about it, we got a fishing dock right here. Really no reason not to. What the fuck? I could put that, like, entirely on land. Why can I put my fishing dock almost entirely on land? That's interesting. Huh. Alright. Well, I don't want it mostly on land. Or I can get it into the water, the better. Actually, this does kind of give it further into the water, so. 
do it. Ah, oh, this gathering hut is done. I'm taking it. Break you down to two workers. <coughs> and increase the number of gatherers in total by two. Okay. So I'm stably bumping around with 10,000 to 15,000 food, it would seem. That's not numbers that I want to be between. One bad harvest could knock me out, is what that means. Pretty much. Alright, so I'm above 15,000. I'm actually 17,000 food. 18,000 food right now. I do have some people harvesting this stuff, so it shouldn't be too surprising. But that means my bump is going up. And I'm producing about 20,000 food a year. I'm using 40,000 or so. Yeah, that was definitely when the tornado hit right there. Okay. Yeah, you can see my food stabilized a little bit. And yet, I still can't get it anywhere near what it used to be like. I'm starting to think I need to get more firewood stored into these trading posts. Because that'll allow me to buy more resources and sell more resources. Immediately. As opposed to having to wait for dock workers to move stuff back and forth. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have all these guys Try and store 1500 firewood from my home. It's a very tenuous situation still. How is it? You're 20% full with 1000. And these guys are only like 10% full with 1000. That is so interesting. This is an inventory 10% full, 7% full. 30% full. What? Oh. The number of dock workers seems to be affecting it. Well, I can increase that then. Yep. The number of dock workers affects the inventory size. Well then. Learn something new every day. Extra, the extra firewood's doing it. I was up to 19,000 there. And it's spring. Having 19,000 in spring is a big deal. Okay, so that was my issue. Not enough dock workers, and not high enough of stocks for the docks. I need more stock for my dock. This one's still reading as 30% full. Why? So is this one. What the fuck? Okay, no, it isn't being affected by a number of dock workers. <coughs> it's just random arbitrary. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. I was about to bust out big theoretical bullshit and say hey, the ones that are all facing this way are all overfilled by comparison. Yeah, it seems like the number of workers isn't affecting it. I wonder if it's how far into the land they are that affects it. I guess to test that, I could put one way out onto the water and put another one st straight up as far inland as possible. Well, oh, now I'm back down to about 15k food. As well, my number of logs is rapidly falling again. One year graph of food. One five year graph of food. Ten year shows the graph pretty easily. 
Hmm. I do like these graphs. It's a lot easier to see stuff. Oh no. Crap infestation. I'm pretty sure that won't even ruin this harvest though. All you have to do is plant another crop field there and suddenly, hey, let's go clear all of this stuff that's sitting in this crop field. Hey. Jalen the Wilbur died of a weak heart. Oh, look at that. 25k. Hey, baby. Want some food? Well, apparently, a change for the better's been made. It's the first time I've been over 20k food for a while. I believe it's been quite a few years. Alright. Oh wow, I am out of iron. I didn't even realize this whole time I've been out of iron. It doesn't matter too much because I haven't been building anything. And I've had a massive reserve of tools to run through, so like it hasn't deeply affected my productivity yet. But I need to fix that very soon here. Someone who sells iron. Hello there, person who sells iron. Oh, but I'm really quickly running out of wood. That scares me. I'm happy to have 30,000 food, but I'm not happy to have only 6,000 wood. I just don't have enough trade for it. Just to tell you what, I'm gonna cut firewood production to 25k. It would give my lumber some breathing room. Didn't I clear most of this forest out? I thought I had. to see it grow back. Actually, no, there's just a whole bunch of stone and iron up there. There wasn't much of a forest. So, I guess when I cleared out most of the stone a while ago, that's why that happened. Let's take on this iron. Good to see the woodcutters relax for a little bit. Wonder. Oh, look at that. Looks so nice. I'm not sure if I'll get back up to 50k, but this time somewhere, right? Can they not get to that? Huh. Yeah, that might just be an entirely impossible to get to area. Wouldn't surprise me very much. I think I'm going to stop trying to manually purchase a lot of this food. Just let the purchases go through naturally. I have lumber worries now. I'm kind of considering like creating a bridge across to an area like this. I'm just making it full of fucking cemeteries. Or an area like this where there's literally nothing I could do with it. Trade-wise, at least. Oh, look at that! 
38,000 food. Coming out of autumn. Into the frost. Oh wow. You got a lot of logs, my friend. 